Hi, I'm Catherine, one of the PCC librarians. Today I'll be teaching you about research topic and keyword brainstorming. In this tutorial, you'll learn to generate research questions related to a topic. You'll pick out the key terms or phrases from one of the research questions and then build a set of related words and synonyms for each of the keywords. These keywords should come in handy when you start searching for information on your topic, especially in the library databases. This is a great exercise to complete when you're getting started on a research paper or project. I'm using a worksheet to structure my brainstorming, but you can use a sheet of scratch paper, a Word document, or a Google Doc just as easily. The first thing I'll need to do is to choose a topic that interests me. You'll be spending a considerable amount of time developing your expertise on this topic, so be sure to select something you're genuinely curious about. For my example topic, I'm going to use online education, something I've been thinking a lot about in recent weeks. This is a broad topic. I'll need to refine it a bit and decide what aspects of online education I want to investigate. It's helpful to develop open-ended questions that reflect more specifically what sparks your interest about a topic. Here are a few examples. What challenges do students face when attending college online? What are the most effective teaching techniques for online courses? How can professors build supportive class environments online? Now I'm going to choose one of these questions as my initial research inquiry. I'll focus on the first question. What challenges do students face when learning online? What are the main concepts, terms, or phrases in this question? These are what we refer to as keywords. I've identified three keywords or phrases, challenges, students, and learning online. In your research question, you may have more or fewer than three keywords, and that's fine too. Next, I'm going to move my keywords down to step two on my worksheet. Now that I've identified the keywords in my research question, I'm going to build a set of related terms for each of them. These could be synonyms, broader terms, narrower terms, or really anything that comes to mind as you consider each keyword. For challenges, I thought of a few synonyms, barriers, hurdles, and difficulties. For students, I brainstormed some more specific populations of students. I could narrow my focus to college students or students with disabilities, for example. Considering the impact of a topic on a specific population is often a helpful way to make a broad topic more manageable. For learning online, I came up with a variety of related terms, such as remote learning and distance education. Okay, now I have a nice set of keywords related to my research question. How can I put them to use? Well, this will become clear as you begin searching for information on your topic. It's especially helpful to have a list of keywords to choose from when you search in library databases such as EBSCOhost combined. This is the search page for EBSCOhost combined. You'll notice that it has three different search fields. This is where I can begin to utilize my keywords, plugging one into each of the fields. Here I chose challenges, students with disabilities, and online classes as my search terms. Since I have a set of keywords to choose from, if my first search doesn't generate the kind of results I'm hoping for, I can refer to my list and try out different terms. During every step in the research process, PCC librarians are here to help. Just visit pasadena.edu slash library and click on Ask a Librarian to see all the different ways you can get one-on-one -on -one assistance with your research. Thanks!